Hi, I'm Amelia and this is my channel, So Amelia, where I talk about making a handmade wardrobe for me and my children. Welcome if you are new to my channel and thank you to those of you who have subscribed since my first video. It's great to have you all here joining me on my sewing journey. Today I'm going to talk about some recent fabric purchases that I've made and some plans that I have for those fabrics to get sewn up in May. I thought I'd start off today's vlog by telling you what I'm wearing today and that is the Billy dress by Tilly and the Buttons. It's a pattern that I'm sure many of you are familiar with. It comes as both a sweatshirt and a dress. Here's the picture here, the pattern cover, and I'll pop a photo of me wearing the dress over here so you can see it in full. Uh, it has gorgeous balloon sleeves, uh, which are a real feature of this uh, jumper and dress. I have only made it as a dress. Uh, I tend to wear dresses more than separates, especially in the winter time. And so I've made two versions of this, and this is the second one that I made. I made a few alterations to this one just to make it fit me better. I ended up using Devon Threadtails, um, Angela's hack, where I used the regular sleeve head here, and then I still used the balloon sleeve here, gathering it into the sleeve cuffs. So I still get a really nice fullness. I just graded it from the regular sleeve head to the balloon cuff here and so you still get a lovely fullness but not quite so much here and I wasn't sure that I wanted the fullness here so I used Angela's hack uh, which I was really pleased with it worked really well I also actually lengthened the dress by two inches because I find it comes up a little short on me and I think what else did I do I think that was it um, a lot of people have said that they find the neckline sits quite close to their neck. Certainly I found that on my first version and I don't know why, for whatever reason on this one, it's fine. So um, I think were I to make it again though, and I will, I want to make the jumper version, I will drop the neckline ever so slightly. Um, it's just quite close fitting and I prefer a slightly looser fit around my neck. The fabric is from Amy Elizabeth Fabrics. She has a gorgeous selection of jersey fabric. A lot of it is for children, which is how I found it originally, but I loved this print and I thought it would look really good as a dress for me. So <laughs> I have got plenty of it left over, so I may use some for my daughter at some point, but I just love the, the I think it's called blush leopard print. I'll put details in the description box below, but I love it as a cheerful um, wintry make. It's still cold. Here in England it is a lovely sunny day today but the wind is really chilly so I am still wearing my winter dresses although hopefully I will get to get my spring makes out sometime soon. The first fabric I'm going to share with you is this lovely navy cotton twill fabric that I bought from Minerva Crafts. I'm sorry it's <laughs> it's a bit of a remnant because I have actually cut the project out already and um, so it's looking a bit creased <laughs> as well. I find that I have made a lot of dresses. I have a lot of dresses in my wardrobe. I find them very comfortable to wear. I often suffer with bloating and stomach pain. So I do prefer to wear dresses over separates unless they're quite high waisted. But I have found some lovely patterns recently which I would like to give a go. And one of those is the Bromby skirt by Megan Nielsen. I made one version of this after I had my daughter. Um, and it's now a little big, so I would like to make another one of these. Um, it's such a lovely pattern, it sits on my waist, and um, I just love, you can see the line drawings here, uh, the camera focus, you, there's a short version here, and a, I think this is the midi version, or a longer version here, and I just love these pocket, the pocket details here. What I am going to do, is I'm going to make the version with the pockets, the beautiful pockets, and then I'm going to make it not in the midi version, but actually in the length of version three. So this length here, which is just below the knees, which I think I've said before is um, my preferred length of skirt, especially coming into hopefully some warmer weather. So that's my plan for this navy cotton twill. And I think it will look really good with some of the other makes that I have in my wardrobe already. It's such a lovely sort of base color to work with. And this fabric is really nice. It's not too heavy. 
in terms of wearing it in the spring and summer I think it will be really nice and the nature of the this skirt where it's gathered into a very fitted waistband and then um, you get that a-line shape I think it will just be quite floaty for the summer the next thing I'm planning to make in May is the Davenport dress by Friday Pattern Company when I saw this one come out I bought it straight away um, I didn't know what fabric I was going to use but I knew that I would really want to make this pattern so I'm sure you've seen it uh, going around it's just beautiful I am quite fair skinned so I actually quite like a bit more coverage in the summer months anyway so I think this sleeve length will be just right for the summer I'm made in a nice lightweight fabric um, I also have seen some brilliant hacks of this pattern over on Friday Pattern Company's blog uh, Siri Kate, who's on Instagram, I'll put her handle below, has put up a blog post on their blog with some brilliant hacks. So I think this pattern has so many possibilities um, that I just had to have it. <laughs> Here are the line drawings. You can see it's just gorgeous. I love the flutter sleeves and I love this waist tie. Uh, Friday Pattern Company patterns are great in terms of sizing and this one is no exception. It goes from extra small, which is a bust of 32 to 33 inches, waist of 24 to 25 inches, hips of 34 to 35 inches, right up to 7x, which is a bust of 59 to 60 inches, waist of 52 to 53 inches, and hips of 62 to 63 inches, so great sizing. I think I mentioned in my previous video, I tend to make a size small in Friday Pattern Company patterns, and this one will be no different. I fit, fit fine into the finished garment measurements um, for a size small across the chest, and I think because of the waistband, the waist tie, and the sort of flared fit across the hips, flared, because of the way the skirt skims across the hips, I think a size small will be fine. And I'm going to make it in this gorgeous Marac Tana lawn, cotton lawn rather, from Fabric Godmother. This is it here. So again, you can see <laughs> I have already cut it out and uh, it's just such a lovely fabric. It is a beautiful cotton lawn. It will be perfect for the ruffles across the sleeve. It will hold the shape really nicely and yet I think it will be um, light enough to be really lovely. In the summer months. Unfortunately Fabric Godmother doesn't have any more of this um, but I always put a link to her website in the description box below because she has so many beautiful fabrics it's always worth checking out what she has in stock. It does go quickly though so you, <laughs> you have to jump if you see something you like. I did see this come up on Instagram uh, and I couldn't resist. I am going to use what is left over from the Davenport dress actually to line the waistband of this skirt that I mentioned previously. I think those two fabrics will go really well together. So I plan to use the leftovers from the Davenport dress um, in my Brumble skirt. The next make I would like to get made up this month is the Fiber Mood Maya. I have never made a Fiber Mood pattern before, but when I saw this one, I knew that I had to make it this month. So these are the line drawings here. Um, it looks like a lovely, simple, fitted, dress with beautiful fisheye darts in the front and the back um, and a beautiful sleeve and I bought this fabric a little while ago actually from the village haberdashery it is a beautiful large print large scale print gingham by Nerida Hansen hold it up and it has been folded up in my stash um, so this is not a recent fabric purchase this is one I've had for quite a long time and I saw it and loved it and so I bought it and thought I need to wait for just the right pattern to come along to use it and make the most of that amazing large print and then when I saw this I thought it would be a great match because I think the silhouette of the dress will just showcase that large print gingham beautifully um, and those darts will just show up I think really nicely uh, in that in that gingham so I'm really excited to get that one made up and hopefully I'll be able to show that to you in my May Makes video. The last one on my plans list for this month is the Deer and Doe Orchidee dress which is another new release. Um, I have been seeing some beautiful gingham dresses online uh, by some high street shops and I would love to recreate them and so when I saw this pattern I thought it would work 
beautifully with the dresses that I had been seeing. So this is the pattern here and I'm going to make this version the dress and I'll show you the fabric that just arrived. It's from Minerva Crafts and I've bought four different colours of yarn dyed gingham, I think that's what it's called, yarn dyed cotton gingham. So I've bought these four colours here. So I'm planning, I think, to make the skirt from this bit and the sleeves from this bit and then the waist, the waistband from the yellow gingham, but um, those plans may yet change. I just thought those four colours looked really lovely together and it would be really summery um, and beautiful. And then I have got some mother of pearl buttons from my stash that I will put down the front of the dress just here. That's um, There are a few buttons here, that's a button closure. So I will use my mother of pearl buttons to go down the front just to keep it simple. I did wonder about covered buttons, so I may yet use covered buttons, but we'll just see. Um, if I have a different colour on each side of the bodice, that might look a bit odd. So, yeah, I'll wait and see which looks better after I've made up the dress. But those fabrics just arrived the other day. They've gone straight in the wash and they are ready to be cut out, hopefully soon. I just think those are so gorgeous. I've been seeing so many beautiful yarn dye ginghams, so I'm really excited to get those made up into a deer and doe porte. I don't think I mentioned the sizes. This one comes in sizes 34 to 46, so European sizes. 34 is a 31 and a half inch bust, a 23 and a half inch waist, and a 33 and three quarter inch hip. And then it only goes up to a size 46, which is a 41 inch bust, a 33 inch waist, and a 43 and a quarter inch hip. Uh, so those are the sizes for this one. So I think given my sizes, I will probably make a size 38 or 40. I'll probably have to make one size in the bust and then grade out to a different size over the hips and potentially the waist. But I think again, because it's a lovely gathered skirt that flows over the hips, that shouldn't be a problem, but I'll just have to be to juggle a bit um, and probably grade out between two sizes over the bust and the waist. The last thing I'm going to show you is some fabric that arrived a couple of days ago from a shop called The Stitching Post on Etsy. Uh, it was a great shopping experience, I ordered it, it arrived a couple of days later, beautifully wrapped. Uh, I will definitely be ordering from them again. It is two fabrics from Macau's Beside the Sea collection and when I saw this fabric I couldn't resist it. I love the seaside, I love summer and this fabric it's just beautiful. So here it is here. It's a border print is the one that I got with the beach huts and the sea and the sky. Isn't that fun? I just thought that was so beautiful. I couldn't resist it. So I ended up getting the border print, which is not hugely deep, but I'll use that for a skirt. And then I bought this fabric to go with it as the bodice of a dress. So that's the clouds and seagulls. And I think those two will go beautifully together, um, obviously a bit further down like that, <laughs> um, for a dress. And the pattern that I want to use is the Hazel Dress by Rosary Apparel. I'll hold that up there. So it's a beautiful dress. It's got a lovely square neckline and spaghetti straps and uh, a lovely nipped in waist and then an A-line skirt. It's such a lovely, lovely pattern. It's one of my favourites. I have made it several times already, once in a uh, rust linen and once in a black cotton ecat. And I particularly like the pattern because it, it can be worn across seasons, depending on the fabric that you buy. I don't think this fabric is going to be able to be worn in the winter somehow, but my other two, definitely I can wear with a turtleneck underneath in the winter or I wear them with a t-shirt underneath in the summer. Um, and I just love those so much. The dress comes in sizes 4 to 14 or 14 to 24. I will include a link to the pattern in the description box below and if you're interested do go and have a look um, at her website. I bought the PDF version and I make the size 12 which fits beautifully and there's an, an invisible zip up the back. I did have to, here it's there, so there's just, it comes in two lengths. I, again, I don't make the short length, I don't make the long length, I make something sort of in between. <laughs> uh, with this one I will be 
limited to length as to how long the border print is so that will be the length of the skirt <laughs> but yes it's a beautiful pattern I did have to make a narrow back adjustment on one of the versions that I made which is fine that's quite a common adjustment that I make um, but yes can definitely recommend this pattern it's one of my favorites and I think it will be a really lovely sundress for the summer months I'm not sure I will get that made up in May but I couldn't resist showing you the fabric as part of this video the next two makes that I have planned for May are plans for my daughter the first thing I would like to make for her is just a simple jersey dress I think they are so easy for little girls to wear in the summer months great for playing outside um, can be layered up with tights and a jumper when it's slightly cooler um, so I have planned to make her the new release from Peony Patterns which is the periwinkle dress you can see it there it's got lovely sleeves gorgeous skirt I'm not sure if you can see the line drawings just there I am planning to make this version here with the squared neckline and the circle skirt I she is almost two and I tend to size up with her I just find children grow so quickly and it's easy enough to hem the skirt slightly shorter and then let it down than it is to um, to make a small size that only fits for a short time Jersey is slightly different I will probably just make the skirt uh, as long as it is and she'll grow into it um, she might even get two summers wear out of it who knows I did find I made her the size 2 in the Peony Patterns wattle dress and that fit her um, it what fits her now really well so I think sizing up is probably going to be fine for her uh, and in the summer it's quite nice to have something that's slightly less restrictive it's maybe slightly looser fitting so looking forward to giving that one a go I bought this stunning fabric from again Amy Elizabeth fabrics so the same place where I bought this fabric that I'm wearing today and um, this is called their her colorful burst in natural it also comes with a navy background and I'll link that in the description box below I think this would look stunning um, as a periwinkle dress uh, but I only bought a meter of that one I'm not sure if I can get a three-year-old size out of that so I may yet make her the two-year-old size if I don't quite have enough fabric for the three-year-old size um, I might have to do some creative cutting but I also have this stunning print from Amy Elizabeth Fabrics uh, this is called her rainbow sunny rainbows on a white background uh, so I also absolutely love this one and I bought three meters of this so I certainly have plenty in that fabric so I will choose either one of those um, once I have a look at the pattern on the fabric and see what I can get out and I may even yet make her one of each <laughs> we will see um, a jersey dress is just such a staple um, in her world wardrobe it's certainly a workhorse for her so she probably could do with a couple of those the last thing that I'm going to get started on in May is a dress for my daughter <laughs> I like to make her a sort of heirloom dress for special occasions her birthday is not until later on in the year but as a busy mum of three it often takes me a little while to get these heirloom garments sewn up so I like to get a head start on them if I can so what I'm planning to make her is a beautiful smocked Lee so this one here uh, the Lee pattern by children's corner patterns it is just a beautiful traditional smocked dress this particular version that I have comes in size six months to three years old but they also have a version for four-year-olds to eight-year-olds which I will be buying <laughs> when she grows out of this one I'll show you the line drawings so this I don't know if you can, come on, there we go this one I'm gonna make view a with the smocked smocking across the bodice and it has a lovely tie in the back I am planning to make her a size three I've already made this in every other size <laughs> so, I do make her the size up from where she is I find with heirloom dresses you can with the bow at the back you can easily pull in the waist and I just make a really nice big hem and then I know that I can drop that down as she grows and she'll get a good at least a year's worth or two out of each dress that's worked really well so far with these dresses and so I'll just continue to do that um, 
especially with all the hard work of smocking it's nice if they can wear it for a little while I so yes I'm planning to make her the size 3 and I'm going to make it out of this beautiful Liberty Tana lawn it's called I think the pattern is just called flowers and it's in the pink colorway and I got that from Minerva crafts so I've yet to cut this out I'm going to start probably just by cutting out the bodice piece and I will pleat that on my pleater and I'll get started with the smocking first. I tend to smock first and then make the rest of the dress up later but I know there are others that prefer to make the whole dress up and then do the smocking. Um, so yes that was just the way I was taught by my mum and so that's the way I do it. I bought these beautiful flosh braids, I'll hold them up against the fabric so you can See the colours from Sarah Classic Sewing. I have always used DMC floss to smock with and just used two or three strands of that. I used two when she was smaller and then I've used three in her more recent dresses. Um, however it takes such a long time because I like to make sure that the strands are all straight before I smock and I just saw so many beautiful pieces of work with the flosh that I really wanted to give it a try and the colours are just so beautiful. I'll hold them up again and you can see. Um, I'll probably use a combination of the colours from those two braids to match with the colours in the fabric and I've not quite decided on a smocking plate yet but uh, I do tend to uh, make them up as I go along and just see where the inspiration takes me. Uh, so that will be a make that I start this month but will probably take me several months to complete. So I don't know that you'll see it in my May Makes video, but hopefully it will be ready for her birthday in September. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing all those fabrics and the plans that I have for them. And I'm hoping that I get some good time to sew them all up in May so I can show you in the next video. If you did enjoy watching today, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe below. And let me know in the comments which of those fabrics you liked the most and which of those plans you're looking forward to seeing sewn up. Um, if you would like to, come and follow me over on Instagram. That's where I often show my makes first before I make a video. Uh, and you're welcome to come follow me there and then you'll see those dresses as I sew them up. Thanks again for watching. I hope you stay safe and have a great week. Bye bye.